What if someone gave you an invitation to a fancy dinner party they were throwing at their home? Well, you'd be honored, wouldn't you? And probably even a little excited, especially if you knew that the host had a reputation for really throwing great parties and for serving the finest food, and you knew that there was going to be good company there. You'd look forward to it. But just getting that invitation, that's not enough. That's only part of the process. You have to accept that invitation, and then you have to actually go to the party, right? You've got to show up. Otherwise, the invitation doesn't benefit you at all. And everything in life is like this, if you think about it. If you want to be a good student, it's not enough just to get accepted into the university. You got to show up to class. If you want to be you know, good in your job, it's not enough just to be hired. You got to show up to work. If you want to be a good friend, have a good relationship with others, you got to show up for that relationship. You want to be a good spouse. You want to be a good parent. You got to show up. You've got to show up. And what Jesus is telling us in the parable that, that we read in our gospel reading this Sunday is that salvation is the same way. God has extended an invitation to each one of us to, to be with him and celebrate with him and, and our fellow Christians in heaven. But we got to show up. We've got to show up. We, we live our lives sometimes as, as practical atheists. And what I mean by that is we might profess our faith in God we might profess our love for Christ, but when it comes to how we actually court, you know, uh, conduct our lives and, and live in the world, we live as if God doesn't exist most of the time. We're practical atheists. We think that it's enough just to have these affectionate feelings towards God. And if we're good people, and our, our bar for what we mean by good people, let's admit, is, is pretty low, especially when applying that standard to ourselves. By good people, we mean we're not a complete jerk, you know, if we're not a complete jerk to people and we just, you know, kind of mind our own business and go about our lives, we'll get into heaven when we die. Heaven will be our reward. But what Jesus is telling us is heaven's not so much a reward as it is a relationship. God has invited us into this relationship with him. He's invited us to the feast and wow, what the scriptures tell us about this feast is it's the best, right? Rich, juicy meats, the finest, choicest wines. You know, this is what we're invited to. But just getting the invitation is only part of the process. We've got to show up. We've got to show up. And when we show up, we've got to be prepared. Don't be like that one man we read about in the parable who shows up without a wedding garment and gets kicked out of the, of the feast. Wow, what's that about, right? Jesus included that for a reason. We don't want to be like that guy. What, what do we do? How do we avoid showing up without a wedding garment? Well, the church fathers have always interpreted the wedding garment in this parable as a reference to baptism. When we're baptized, we, we put on Christ. We're now clothed in his grace. So does that mean, oh, I was baptized as a baby, I'm, I'm good to go, I've got my wedding garment? Not necessarily. You have to keep that wedding garment on. You have to keep it clean and, and fresh, presentable for the party, right? We can lose that wedding garment through mortal sin. And you can think about mortal sin as those times in our lives when we've taken off that garment. We got to put it back on. And that's what confession is all about. Confession is that sacrament that Jesus gave to the church for that post-baptismal conversion. So that when we need to, to put our wedding garment back on, we need to renew those baptismal graces, we can do that. So if it's been a while, go to confession, but be intentional about the practice of your faith. Go back and listen to my homily from last Sunday. I talked about these six practical things that you can do to be intentional about your life of discipleship. This is what I'm talking about. This is what it means to show up in the faith, to respond positively to this invitation by God. Because brothers and sisters, we have been given a great invitation, but if we don't accept it, it doesn't do us any good. And at the end of the day, we've got to show up. We've got to show up for God to benefit from this wonderful invitation and participate in this wonderful feast that he's inviting us to share. Praise be Jesus Christ.